Young Victorians will swap the classroom for home learning again. A dreary school pickup as Victorian classrooms shut down for at least a week. I have to say my anxiety levels went up a little bit and I got a little bit teary and thought, oh, here we go again. Students enjoyed their last run around the playground with their classmates before being told they'll be returning to learning at home. We only told the children at recess today um, because the announcement came through halfway through recess. Um, disappointment for the children because they love being at school, they love being around their, their teachers. Sometimes for our children, the safest place for them is at school. Vulnerable children and children whose parents are essential workers can still attend school. Childcare centres and kindergartens remain open. The state government is calling tomorrow a pupil-free day to allow schools more time to roll out their remote learning programs. 5,600 tutors will be on hand to provide additional support. While parents pull out the makeshift desks, the advice from psychologists is to implement structure and routine to help children get through their fourth lockdown. Start to talk to them about what they're going to do with this time, how they're best going to use the time, so that uh, when they come out in seven days, they've got a focus. Being mindful of the pressures of home learning on the entire family, Clorinda Primary School has developed take-home packs for this lockdown with workbooks and readers to ensure children don't have to rely on devices. I just feel for them because one day they're, they're out with their friends and then the next day it's really hard to explain the world doesn't feel safe, you can't go out again. So it is, it's hard, it's a juggle. Jade Vincent, 7 News.